Hello, everybody. Happy Thirsty Thursday or Throwback Thursday, whichever the case may be. Whatever Thursday it is for you. It is me, Dave Neal. This is Bachelor Nation News. That's my Instagram right there. I just posted a couple throwback photos from my days working uh, in New York City. If you want to see what my first New York City headshot looked like, Go to my Instagram and check that out. In the meantime, here's a story that's a non-story. You know, I like to start my Thursdays off with a story that's a non-story. And we have Tasha Adams on navigating social media speculation amid Zach Clark engagement. It's a real relationship. It always makes you wonder, like, when someone's writing this article, uh, you know, because sometimes when I cover the article on my channel, I go, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> now, the truth is, I'm a stand-up comic. I'm here to make people laugh, some irreverent humor, a toe photo once in a while. I don't know. Don't judge me. But it's like, you know, clearly this isn't the end-all, be-all of Pulitzer Prize winning uh, headlines here. But, you know, there is a thirst for entertainment news, and we are here to... Uh, Quench it. Okay, folks. So what we've got is a story about uh, Tasha Adams and uh, Zach Clark and also some uh, paparazzi photos. I think they were just photos from some fans um, at a, sh at a uh, basketball game last night. And it begs the question, did Bachelor Nation drive Zach Clark and Tasha Adams off social media? Uh, I'll tell you this. The quickest way to get banned on my channel is to like talk any trash about my fiance or my dog. That's it. That's the quickest way. I made my video last week about my dog who's been recovering from a, a really uh, 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 bad medical emergency. And someone left a comment and said, your dog's not even cute. And I was like, hold my, uh, you know, Tim Hortons coffee, eh? I am going to block you. So my dog's not even cute. What? I mean, people can criticize my look, my hair, my this, my that, whatever. But you want to go after my dog, you bet you're going to be met with brunt force, okay? You're done. You're out. You know what I mean? Don't make me put the ref's hat on and I'll, I'll call, you know, just, you know, you got to go. You're out. You're off the, you're out. Get off the field. You're done. All right. Anyway. All right. I always have a ref set now. Thanks to you guys. I've uh, been able to afford a new ref set. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much money my vlog channel has made. A uh, spoiler. It's about the cost of one cup of coffee. I'll show you uh, what my new uh, vlog is at the end of this. You guys can go check that out. Uh, new look at my uh, upgrades I've made to the home studio. You know, some people care, some people don't. And um, it looks like my show uh, tomorrow night, it will be at capacity. A lot of you guys are coming to the show. I'm just doing a spot. It's not a big deal. I'm going to be working on more um, uh, bachelor in relationship themed stand-up comedy. So I will be putting a show together that's more like a small theater, you know, like a 50 to 99 seater, just a small intimate place. Show up with your boyfriend, show up single. We'll try to hook you up with somebody and uh, that'll be in the works. If you want, you can uh, go uh, go to my, uh, in the comments below, you can find my uh, newsletter and, and stay in touch with that when I've got uh, shows coming, I'll blast them out. But in the meantime, let's just read this article here. You know, I'm kind of stalling because this is an article about nothing, but we're here. You clicked, I'm doing it. Let's get into it. Bachelor Nation is always rooting for the show's couples to go the distance, but sometimes fans take their roles too far. Tasha, who is engaged to her final Rose recipient, Zach Clacky, opened up to Us Weekly about navigating speculation about their relationship as she helps Katie Thurston on the same journey. As we know, a couple months ago, it was rumored they were broken up because Zach Clark's mom unfollowed her page or whatever. We, we all know moms with their glasses on their nose and, hey, how do I do You know, they're trying to do five things at once or, you know, whatever. Um, so anyway, I think, I think they were driven off social media. I think they were like, you know what? Let's not give these people anything. Let's just live our lives. This is toxic. Uh, she said, it's so funny because people do have lives outside of social media. The season 16 Bachelor at 30 exclusively told us ahead of the Monday, June 14th episode uh, of season 17. That's a lot of numbers there. Uh, can we read that sentence one more time? Uh, the season 16 Bachelor at 30 exclusively told us ahead of the Monday, June 14th episode of season 17. Wow. And it's so amazing to have the love and support of Bachelor Nation because to be honest with you, we go through it kind of together when we're all watching the show. However, you have to realize that it's a real relationship behind the scenes. So essentially, she's saying, I enjoyed watching the show too with you, but my season's over. Bye, bitches. That's pretty much what she was saying, if I could summate it. Is that a word? Summate? Summarize? Uh, there they are looking good. And you know, Zach, he's just not a social media guy. He's too busy working on real life things. He doesn't care what you think if you follow him or not. Tasha and Zach, 37, got engaged during the December 2020 finale of her season. Earlier this year, the couple accidentally sparked speculation about their relationship when the former uh, ble ple 
plebs oh boy Le lobotomist wow was spotted without her neil lane diamond in the edition specialist mother unfollowed tasia on instagram it's almost like they have an easy story and they just make it harder by adding information we don't need i suggested to katie like if you have to separate yourself a little bit do so because you want to do what's best for you in the relationship tasia told us and if that means like pulling back a little bit on a social media then do it that's your relationship. So you just have to put a little bit of boundaries, nothing bad, just some boundaries. And as we know, actually, I didn't have this plan, but I'll show you Katie Thurston's Instagram where she told people, you know what? If you're going to give me advice on how to wear my hair, I'm just going to block you. Like she, she's starting to realize with the, with the fame comes people just that are ridiculous. As we know, if we follow Bachelor Nation, there's people asking like personal pregnancy questions and real personal stuff. And it's like, who has the balls or the ovaries to, or whatever sexual organ you identify with to do that? You know what I mean? Zach, for his part, previously told us that the duo are moving forward with wedding plans, but admitted there were some ups and downs post-bachelorette. Hey, I hear you. I've been engaged for a uh, year and a half now. It's a pandemic. Who's trying to plan a wedding during a pandemic? Naturally, it's for all the, uh, naturally, it's for all the reasons that, by the way, if anyone lives on a vineyard, please let me know. I'll do a wedding over there. You know, can we do a themed wedding there? I'll recap it afterwards. I'll put the refs out on. It'll be good. Naturally, it's for all the reasons that people say it shouldn't work because it's so quick and all that stuff. And I hear that. There's also a lot of reasons why for me it does work. He told us in April. Because you put the cell phone down, there's no distractions. You, you, your conversations are very like pointed and structured and you really give yourself for me, I gave myself that opportunity to kind of really explore what love was and what the relationship could be. So in response to the idea that the Bachelor format doesn't work, and of course, statistically, it doesn't, uh, but you know, but what does? N nothing works until it does, folks. The idea that if you're at the right place, right time, at his age, what he's looking for in life, like, yeah, you put the phone down, you get to know someone real quick. The New Jersey native added that he and Tasha left the ABC show with a strong foundation and can tune out rumors and speculation. I know that at the end of the day, there's a relationship, me and her, and then there's everything else kind of around it. And if this isn't solid, which it is, then this stuff can kind of work itself into it. But it is solid, and at the end of the day, none of that other stuff really truly matters. I think you need to be aware, and I think you need to acknowledge that it could be difficult. But no, that's why we have each other to support us through those difficult times and, and whatever it may be. Katie, meanwhile, is still looking for the one, and her journey will continue on Monday's episode of the... Okay, so uh, we got it all. So that's it. And of course, here it is. We've got Tasha and Zach. Boy, I think we all want someone to look at us the way Tasha looks at Zach. Someone in, the, in my comment yesterday on my Connor video said that they want a man that looks at them the way I looked at Connor when he's singing. <laughs> and if you watch the video, you know what she's talking about. I had a little lighter. I was just like, you know, I was a fanboy. But anyway, there they are. She's got this nice psychedelic look happening there. That 70s show, uh, he's got the Philly uh, identity happening. We get it. You're from Philly. We understand. Um, uh, she's got the denim happening there. But here, where's, here's the real, wow, look at that, folks. Couples that match sneakers together stay together. That's a lot of soul, if you ask me. Okay, we're heating up. It's a Thursday. We have a live stream at 4 p.m. today. Come hang with me on the live stream. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you live somewhere in the middle of the country, why? But you can watch as well because uh, home prices are better. That's why. All right, so there they are. They're at the 76ers game. Oh, boy, she's got her hands on the merchandise Clearly, I mean, not, not that we're wondering if they're together, but clearly living their life outside of social media. And I feel like we all should take a note about that and realize social media is just a uh, biased uh, exploration of what you want people to think is going on in your world. And it is only a slice, not the whole picture. Of course, there she is wearing a, what I believe to be a four carat rock from Neil Lane. He has not asked for it back. They're clearly going to keep that rock. And then I don't know who they're there with. Just some other friends. You know, Zach seems like the guy, if he needs help, he can call about a thousand people to help him. You can learn a lot about somebody's character based on how many people will answer their phone when they need help. Um, or you're like me and you need to move a couch and you got to pay your buddy 50 bucks to do it. Although I will say, I told Channing I'd pay him $50 to help me move my couch. He came to help me move it and then refused the money, but I still sent it to him and he didn't send it back. So technically he took it. But the point is, is I feel like he would have helped me regardless. And we all need friends to do that. So while I'm here, while I've got you guys, let's go to Katie Thurston. Let's figure her out here and see, you know, she's uh, sort of grappling with the beginning stages of a needy fan base. And you know what was so funny? Actually, if, if you don't mind here, let me do this. Let me do a new tab. I'm going to pull up a, um, I'm going to pull up my Instagram here. 
But let's read her. So she's got this going on here. Hold on. Well, let's go backwards. I think if we go backwards here um, to, all right, there she is throwing baseball. Um, all right, so here, so here it is. Let's listen to her. It's the gift inside. Oh, let's go back to the beginning here. So she's starting, she's starting like, to realize that right, um, people okay. can be annoying and pushy and fan bases tend to feel like they have an ownership over somebody. Um, this is just what happens when you love something, when you like invest in something, you feel like it's part, partly yours. And I feel like when someone grapples with that and they're new to the fame, like Katie is this past year, I think there'll, there'll come a time, and this happens with everybody, where you kind of have that, and I'm not saying she's going to have a Britney Spears moment where Britney shaved her head, but clearly Britney, what, Britney back in the day needed to like, I mean, she was dr driven crazy by paparazzi in, in, in a 24 hour like stalking basically. But Britney back in the day, like literally shaved the head and was like, I'm new, I'm starting over. And you know, and like in Katie's, Katie's, uh, you know, well evolved. She's just like, you know what? Look, I'm going to block you if you annoy me. That's just what I have to do to protect my sanity. Katie sets really healthy boundaries. Let's have a listen. Creating a new rule for myself. Anyone who wants to message me about my part or my fashion or lack thereof. Listen to the music. I'm just gonna block you. <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of you guys don't have any hate about it. You're just like giving me like friendly suggestions. By the way, her intonation is so unique that like, you know, like we've all got unique like thumbprints. Like we have, we all like, no one has the same thumbprint as me. No one talks the way Katie does. I don't, it's almost like, it's like pauses of reflection met with a burst of words and I love it. But like when you get them every day, it's just like, God damn. Look, I'm just like your fucking girl who somehow became a bachelorette. God. But you know what? I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Music. It's not about the wrapping paper. It's the gift inside. And that's what I am. F fucking gift. Ah. So this doesn't matter. Who's got who's complaining about it? She goes, hey, love you, girly, you're gorgeous, but the side part. She goes, thank you for your feedback. <laughs> and here's Katie. She's practicing okay, baseball. I, I would estimate she's gonna be throwing out a first pitch. That's my guess. Now, let me go back to the main page here for a second. So, so uh, we're, I know we're jumping around, but that's what we do when we don't have much of a news story. We kind of create one, you know what I mean? So here, let me go back to my page here. I decided to offer Katie some advice on how to throw a first pitch. Not that she needs any. I know she doesn't want to be mansplained or pitchplained by me, but let's give Katie some good advice on how to throw a first pitch here. Um, uh, here we go. This is, uh, l l this is it right here. Let me go backwards one here. You know, I play in an adult baseball league. Oh, there's some sushi from last night. Good to know. Here it is. Okay, in case anyone's throwing out a first pitch at a Major League Baseball game tonight, this is how it's done. I'll be using a maraca as an example. If you want to throw down the plate, you want to grab some real center I love those sound here. effects. Knee up, balance, and at the same exact time, toe to home, glove hand Hole in the pointed. left elbow. Right hand straight back, and in the same motion, get a good. left hand elbows back, you throw. There it is. And at the exact same time, right foot high in the sky. Left foot hamstring, right foot high in the sky. That's good form right there. Right there. Lower back so strength, again, balance. Set. That's Let's good form up, at balance. 36. Foot apart, left arm, want to elbow the elbow. And then just a you. straight right leg up, right arm straight down. And if you don't pull back that left elbow, you fly open and you hit a right-handed batter. Or, yeah, or now watch this. See this? This is uh, 50 Just Cent. He didn't hit. So 50 Cent didn't hit. Um, uh, yeah, he didn't. Hit. If you look at 50 Cent right here, his left arm goes back, but his right arm, his glove arm, doesn't pull back. So he's lefty, and because he doesn't pull back, it keeps his chest open and it throws the ball wide left watch watch 50 cent right here one, consider one of the worst first pitches of all time Pitch was not great. look at that it's pretty bad but you can see he you know he finished way too open you know what i mean so anyway that's my instagram i've got some more this is from working on birdman so if anyone wants to see what that's all yeah, about you can go check that out but in the meantime i think so katie katie posted a uh you know while, while we're on the topic of katie because this isn't worth like its own video here but katie posted this bralette photo happening. Is that a bralette or a bra? I don't really know. I don't know terminology. You got to go to Tasha's take to find that out. But uh, I wrote, someone accuses Katie Thurston of walking like a bro. And this is the response. Be a Katie. Because, you know, some like TikTok was like, she walks like a bro. She like kind of walks with her arms out. So she's like, oh, yeah, you want to think I walk like a bro? I'm just going to drop this uh, 
schoolgirl photo on you. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for that. Um, she'll be throwing out, I believe, a first pitch. We'll have to see. We'll have to see where the first pitch is. Let me tell you something. I'm going to take no greater joy than refereeing the first pitch she, th- she throws out. We're going to play it in super slow motion. We're going to look at her technique. We're going to look at her uh, general uh, joie de vivre. You know, uh, pitching is all about an energy. It's about intimidation. You need to be out there. You need to control the story, and we'll see how she does with that. Now, if anyone wants any extra content, I've got my Patreon which will have a new episode going live later today. You can check that out. We're up to 110 Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. Those Patreon donations, their monthly donations, they help me support all the other things that I have going on, including upgrading my new studio. So here's uh, a vlog I just released today. I do apologize with the vlog channel. I took the last couple weeks off. We've been so crazy between my car battery getting stolen and the dog having to go to the emergency vet. We've just been so wildly slammed. So I'm going to be getting back into that. Uh, the, uh, the YouTube, uh, the channel, uh, the vlog channel made $3 this month so far. So I wanted to take that money and just tell you guys, thank you so much for that $3. I'll keep you posted when it starts to make some more money. I think it's fun to watch those things grow. But as you can see, we made a, a welcome to my crib style video where we did a full house tour. Where is it? Right here. We did a full house tour of the whole apartment. So I'll be showing you, like, this is my studio that I'm recording in, how I use everything, the big green screen, and these are the, the new monitor. These are all upgrades that we I've just made in the last month or so. And it's all because you guys have been watching and been so loyal. So I do thank you guys so, so much for that. And then I'll just show you... Oh, I just got to show you this one nighttime shot. You guys know I got a new camera. Look, look at this nighttime shot. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull this up here. Ooh, that's sexy. So if you guys want to see what it looks like, we got the new grill out there and all that, go to my vlog channel. I'll post a little uh, thumbnail in the end credits here so you can just click on over or you can uh, find it in the link below. Hit the subscribe button for that. We got a lot of content coming up and I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around. 4 p.m. live stream today and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and understand that Tasha and Zach, like everyone else you see online, it's just a fragment of their lives. If you ever scroll the internet too long and think that you're like, stinks because of all uh, the highlight reels you see that are out there. Just understand it's all fabricated and it's all part of the algorithm and everyone's trying the best with their own challenges in life and your life's no harder or, or easier than anybody else's. So just go out there and try to give every day like it's your best and good luck to Katie Thurston on your first pitch. All right, folks, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye now.